colours, so this is why I haven't been, well, I haven't been sticking to my schedule, because I am making a Swamp Feather's Choice casting call, which I hope will go well, like, probably not many people will try for the parts, but that that is okay. Okay, so, first of all, we're going to go through the rules. Okay, never mind, apparently we're not. One minute. Okay, here we go, so, just put a little shadow on that so you can read that bit. Okay, so you must gmail or email me your audition. My gmail is alanheadresses at gmail.com and yes it is a Z because I made another email with just yes and it didn't work so yes. Um, each line of speech must be recorded separately but please try and put them all in the same gmail because otherwise I'll have loads of gmails just flying around. If you cannot do them separately then this it won't affect your chance of getting the part. Um, it's just because I can't cut audio that can go away. <laughs> it's just because I can't cut audio and so it's much easier for me if you do them separately but you don't have to. Like if you can't, um, aud auditions might be in by the 1st of September. This gives you like quite a long time to do your part so yeah 1st September. After the 1st of September it's not that like I'm just gonna ignore you it's pretty because I just won't see your gmail. Um, you don't need to do every line, just some that express character's emotions, because Jay Feather has like, just, like over 15 lines, like 15 plus lines, so you don't have to do every one. You can create a YouTube video of your auditions, but you must email me your lines. Yeah, I'll reply to you if you got the part. Um, I may reply to you also though, like it says, you can only try for one character, however, I may reply to you saying that I think your voice will suit another character, so not just if you got the part. Uh, you don't have to watch the episodes, but it would be awesome if you could. After all, if you get the part, you'll be in the video. Um, if you read the rules, please put in your comment or Gmail, Swan Bay. Couldn't think of anything better to do, so just put that in your Gmail. If you don't, then it, it might not affect your chance of winning, but I'm not actually sure because, I mean, that mean, might mean you haven't read the rules. And the most important rule, have fun. If you don't actually, like, if you don't, you just want to be in my YouTube video, then I'm gonna, probably going to hear it in your voice. And so... I probably won't um, give you the part, and also, um, if you're not having fun, then, I mean, why bother? And if you desire you no longer want the part, and I've chosen you, then that's absolutely fine. So let's move on to the characters. Okay, so J Fever, as it says, in, the lines are in the description, by the way. Okay, so J Fever, medium pitch, can be high male voice, can be feisty at times, only shown in some lines. I don't even know if it's shown in some lines. I, I don't know. See my picture? Um, can be voiced by a female, but you must have quite a deep voice. Um, so yeah, some some characters can be voiced by the opposite gender, but it just depends how, like, if your voice will actually suit the part. So say, Lion Blaze in a minute, if you have a really high voice, then you probably um, can't have the part, sorry. Okay, okay, so here we go, Lion Blaze. A strong, deep male voice. Um, sounds kind of proud, loyal, brave, strong, and also confident. So, like... I mean, a lot of you might not really be a professional, like, voice actor, artist thing. So, like, I mean, is you might be a bit, like, nervous. But I kind of want Lion Blaze to be very confident. So, yeah. Okay, Holly Leaf. She's just going to be a regular female voice. Can sound annoyed at times and even angry. You may have to make a hissing sound. But, on quote in the lines, the rules are on there as well. Um, like I said, you don't you don't have to make a hissing sound if you don't want to. Like if you're embarrassed or something, then don't bother with the hissing sound. I'll add it in myself. Yay! Again, Ivy Paul. Um, she's like a quite deep, but not too deep female voice. So just you know, like if you imagine a deep female voice, but not really deep, and can be annoyed and may have to make kind of annoyed noises. I don't know, like really, but that just you, because when she like swipes at Dove Wing and you just be like, Ugh, and yeah can be voiced by male but you must have quite a high voice sorry so that's again with the um opposite gender and lastly we have dove wing so she must have like quite a high female voice can be childish at times and you may have to include a childish sort of laugh um and she's genuinely happy the childish laugh is not you know as in like a baby laugh but i mean as if you know when people have like done a prank or something then they just laugh about it or something i don't know um if you need to um i said on quote quote as well if you me need me to i can try and send you an example but i don't know how well that work 
hopefully it'll work okay. I, th I think it should work okay, because I have a voice recorder on my phone and I can share things. So if you need an example, but again, like, if you don't need an example, then don't just ask me to Gmail you one just for the sake of it, because it doesn't really waste my time. It will take, like, two minutes, but I just can't be bothered. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's the casting call. Um... So yeah, you can recommend this to your friends if you like, if you have some friends you think would be good for the parts. And I really hope you enjoy doing this. I've set a long time, like a month, for you to get your voice ready. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you really enjoy doing this. Um, See you in the next video, howlers. Bye!